So wouldn't you just know it, the day that we choose to leave the marina where we'd wintered the boat, the wind is blowing an absolute gale. I could not control the boat. Not even the bow thrust of the engine, nothing would control the boat. And uh, we were getting blown about all over the place, couldn't control it. So we needed the uh, help of the marina with their tow boat to uh, tow us away. The lock's filling up. Um, you can see where I am. I'm just at a well, proper weird angle in the lock. Get any idea of that? Yes, probably. So hmm, it's a bit like going into one of those French sloping sided locks. We've just come off a little bit of the River Cherwell through there, which you can see the unusual bridge, but that's the River Cherwell. We are going up, I think. Oxford Canal, just south of Anho Wharf. Um, the next place we're going to be coming up to is Upper Hayford, but that's in about uh, three miles and a couple of locks. Um, we're told the next lock is Somerton Deep Lock, which is 12 foot deep. Uh, we were warned it's pretty unlike anything we've come across before. Um, however, the person that told us that has no idea that we've been through Itra Lock in Belgium, which is probably about oh, uh, 60 or 70 foot deep. So. Uh, this one should be a breeze, apart from the fact he's warned us to put our fenders up because it's quite tight in the lock um, and we're probably not going to get through it with all the fenders down on both sides of the boat. So we'll do that before we get there. There's Michael coming along. He is there, honest. He's just <laughs> disappeared. There, there we go. He can still, can still be seen. Going at some speed. to have been an inch or two taller. Or to go through with the chimney on that side. No. No, 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 no. So Michael's just 
walking ahead now to see if there's a little mooring spot before this bridge. I think we'd better push it up because uh, the tight train's on the outside. Uh, we should stop any fun in the morning, I guess. Yeah, there's also a railway line right there. Our little baby duckling who's lost his mum because she flew off yesterday after being potentially attacked by two male ducks and she's not come back for him we've been feeding him and he's made it through the night um, but apparently we've been reading and a couple of nights is probably all that they might make because they need the warmth of the mum um, but we've also got I think it's a coot we've got a coot over there um, maybe It'll foster it. Anyway, we didn't expect we were going to see our little duckling this morning, but he's here. Yes! How exciting. Look! Back together again. Oh wow! That is incredible. Shoo it off. Come on. Shoo! 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 <laughs> Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> Go on! Off you go! Go on! Go on! about to leave the River Cherwell which is about eight miles north of Oxford and we're just going to continue on to the um, Oxford Canal proper. Um, we've just come into the lock and there appears to be a number of mm, canoeists stroke paddle boarders waiting to get into the water. Could be fun.
strawberries. Alright, well, this is bizarre. Stand back, stand back. Keep pushing it. My hero, he's just come and rescued me. We couldn't get that bridge down. Oh, that was so embarrassing. We're going to find a mooring now. I think we we'll probably deserve lunch after that. Hmm, I wouldn't like to have done been able to do that on my own. Well, you couldn't have at all. Uh, uh, anyway, the perils of boating. <laughs> It's a hundred pounds.